voting James up? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, I feel like out of the two, Suds is stronger for sure. So um, that's what Lol be like really wanted to like get James out. So I'm going to just like do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, me and Dream are going to tell both Emmett and Skylar and Lolzy that we are going to vote out um, James. James is gone. James is this. But knowing how Emmett and Skylar are, these wild cards are going to take the bait. And then me and Dream are going to vote out for studs in the hopes that we get a third vote to vote out studs. Um, but then I'm hoping that we can win this next HOH, though. I would honestly mm -hmm. like that because love that thinking about it because here's the thing Skylar like you were the original target until um Tucker saved you mm. yeah um, apparently James doesn't like you and I'm like what the heck you don't even know her <laughs> it's rude uh, oh I mean that like when I went over to the HOA room uh the deal kind of like was that we would nominate uh, well Lolzy, not we but Lolzy would nominate Skylar and um and Emmett and I'm like okay sure like let's do that because here's the thing if I would have um had the power of veto I would have saved Skylar mm -hmm. right because Skylar, I mean Skylar's my teammate I'd rather you know work with her and also getting Emmett out is I think more of a priority for us yeah yeah but Lolzy doesn't see uh -oh. that, so that's why Emmett is not even on. I feel like oh, Lolzy Emmett. <laughs> Let's see if he actually does it. I would be shocked if he does it. <laughs> Do you think that Lolzy was just saying it to put to Jervy? Probably. What do you mean? Jervy, or did Jervy just lie about that? That Lolzy said that I was the target. Probably just a lie. No, you were, yeah, you and Emmett were the target for sure. Um, oh, Lolzy was going to put up you and James. Um, mm -hmm. And <clears throat> which the coaches knew already, like we were just predicting it. Um, and so that's why we were like, well, you know, if we, if they asked me if I had to choose between um, you or Jervy, I said you. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, okay, then we'll save Skylar, and they don't really like Derby, so. Our plan to get Mark out was busted. A failure. Should we try wow. it again next week? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. I think what went wrong is, I and I thought about this too, we shouldn't have put Mark up first. We should have waited. Oh, you're right. Yeah. That was like the plan, but then... Like yeah. Something no, happened. I was thinking the whole time was we take I take I say Skylar then Mark gets put up. Yeah, we were gonna do Skylar and James and then Mark was gonna be put up. Cause we were gonna use it on Skylar. Oh okay, Lose is now saying that Jervy might vote James. Might. Might okay, Lose. I don't fully I don't trust most of the people we're like, you know. Sarah, you gotta trust <laughs> But yeah. Like I trust only you two and then no one else. I don't trust, like, I don't even trust, like... Oh, I think it might still be a tie, though, because that's what he's saying. Yeah, I think my intentions were, yeah, were to only, like, just chill and watch from, like, the sidelines and just, like, give advice when I can. But now yeah. I'm, like, actually, I'm, doing, I'm being more involved than I thought I would be. Same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know. I feel like I'm actually a player when um, a coach is normally, you know, not supposed to be like, oh, do this, do that. Yeah. yeah. Like, like we're actually, but we're like actually it's like we're the big brains of the season. Like they don't know it, but they're playing in our hands. Exactly. <laughs> I mean Sarah, I'm gonna we're gonna need you to have Suds win so that we can have Mark and Jervy up against each other. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't have much faith in Suds winning, but if we can uh, definitely try. It, if Emmett wins, oh, Emmett will be back this week. Damn it. Emmett's going to be back next. Oh, no. Can we oh, do this on Saturday, B? <laughs> <laughs> can we do this when Emmett conveniently comes can back? Please. Oh, wait, but if, do you think Skylar will be here tomorrow? I really hope so. I, I just messaged her, but nothing. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. If we, if we, because Skylar is, is for sure doesn't like Jervy since Jervy kind of threw her underneath the bus. Mark, she was totally down to get put Mark up. Uh, yeah. Those two wants to go against you. They'll leave us our our final teams to get rid of one of them. Which I'm hoping they'll they'll get rid of Mark. I'll probably be like, hey, get rid of Mark. Let's get rid of Mark. Eviction. All right. Everyone, everyone's here in the living room. We've got another eviction. You know, my psychic told me. You see psychics, see psychics too. It's weird, you know, Inception, all that. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Mm -hmm. What was that, Mariah? I said good. No, you didn't. What? Emmett, what I Emmett, I heard you've been on vacation. I see you spinning with joy. All right, all right. The two nominee, or yeah, nominees. How are you guys feeling? Eh. Eh. All right. All right, Mariah. How's it like being a coach? It's good. I like it a lot. Okay, great. Great. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> but Rebecca doesn't have time for you old news. All right. James and Suds, in just a few moments, your fellow house guests will cast their votes to evict. Before they do, you have one last chance to plead your case. And Suds, why don't you go first? All right, Suds, give us the silent treatment. How about that, huh? All right, James, you go up. I'm tired of Suds' attitude all day. All right, well, I'm supposed to convince you as to why you should pick me over Suds, and that's not really something I can do because, you know, we're both great people. I can't badmouth Suds at all. Um, I came here wanting to meet new people, which I've done. I'm definitely not ready to go home yet because I'm having a lot of fun hanging out with y'all. I'm here every day on time, almost always, at least 30 minutes early. And that's it, I guess. All right. All right. You can sit back down. Okay. All right. It's time for the voting to begin. Neither of the two nominees are allowed to vote. Neither can any of the coaches. Lulzy, as the current HOH, you are not allowed to vote uh, unless there's a tie. One at a time, the rest of you will enter the dyer room and cast your vote and pick... Uh, Jervy, why don't you go first? I am hoping that this plan works. I sadly vote to evict studs. All right, I'm voting James purely because of I've just you know been more friends with studs than James. I think James is a he's a pretty nice guy. You know. All right, that's all. I'm gonna this code on that walking out. Um, I vote to evict James. All right. House guests, as a reminder, when I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say goodbye and walk out of the front door. However, we've got a little bit of a change here, as by a vote of two to two, both have tied. That means, Lulzy, you are the tiebreaker. Both of you are nice, both of you are pretty cool people, but for the sake of what I believe should be right for my game, sadly, I vote to evict James. Alright, with that, James, you have been evicted. Uh, as for usual, you get a chance to say goodbye to everyone. Alright, well, I've had a lot of fun getting to know you all over the past three weeks, getting to play games with you all. I'm excited to watch the season when it comes out. Um, in parting, you're all a bunch of minus a select few. Love you. All right, Hi, please make your way outside the house. A nice contestant. Well, hello, James. I'm sorry. This is how we have to say our goodbyes. Uh, let me just ask, what do you think went wrong? Um, honestly, I'm not really sure. I guess I wasn't friendly enough with people like Lulzy and Emmett and uh, Skylar. 
you know, even though some of them didn't even feel like showing up on time or even coming to recordings. At least Suds was here today. <laughs> um, if you had a chance to pick your coach, who would you have wanted? Um, I probably would stick with Sarah because she's awesome, but I really like um, Mariah too. Just not Rebecca. Not Rebecca? Any any particular reason? Yeah, not really. Okay. Uh, are there any of the house guests you? I know you mentioned, you know, working with Lulzy, Skyler, all of those. Um, is there any particular reason why you wish you could have worked with them more? Um, maybe so I could have, you know, tricked them into keeping me around longer. Mm. Pretend to be friends. Of course. Uh, lastly, do you regret anything that led you to be sitting with me now? Nope, I don't regret anything I've done. Well, well, thank you, and we're not done with you yet. Your game in the house may be dead, but you have a new life. If you would please follow me down this red carpet. Richard, how's being dead been? Um, pretty good. I'm enjoying the afterlife here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Loving the amenities? Yeah. We get all the dead channels, you know, mm-hmm. anything that's been canceled in the last, you know, 40 so years gets played on this TV. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. 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 Um, so, as you know, it's been another eviction, right? Yeah. Uh, so my question for you is, who do you think got evicted? Who do I think? Either James or Dream. Oh, who do you want to be evicted? Uh, Jervy. <laughs> Is that because you like Jervy or because you want Jervy to be out of the game? I want Jervy out of the game. <laughs> Nothing well, like really personally against him, I guess. It's just, uh, I mean, I, I'm a little petty. <laughs> but... Right, right. I mean, he did survive your death. Yeah. So it's yeah. only fair. It's only fair. Okay. Well, if you would please follow me to the front. If you would please walk out. I can't. Oh, you can unship now. Oh, okay. Hello, welcome to the afterlife. Oh, welcome to your new, your newest uh, member of jury, James. So, <laughs> feels like it's been five minutes since I got eliminated. <laughs> yeah, are these these are not bedrooms. No, no, no. no. This you... is in the backyard. Yes, our cemetery. This is Ooh, Ginger. Kitty. Aww. She makes sure the souls stay here. Uh, you will find your stuff here in your grave there, James. Oh. All right. So what you missed this week was mm. Emmett and Skylar not showing up at all. Tucker saving Skylar through the coaches competition. Oh. Um, then me and Mark getting put up. Mark winning the POV, saving himself, obviously. I told him he was dumb if he didn't. And right. then it was down to me and Suds. And it came down to a tie. And Lolzy decided I was going home. Oh, Lolzy changed his vote? Uh, Lolzy was head of house. So oh, Lolzy got Lolzy was the tiebreaker vote. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow. Did you think between you and Suds that you were going to go home? I thought for sure I was the entire time. Like I had an really? entire speech written out, even though I edited most of it out to keep it somewhat safe for viewing. Mm-hmm. I did guess that it was probably going to come down to you and Mark, you and Dream. I thought that you would be evicted, but not for the reason that you were. Only because I thought that uh, Jervy would somehow help save Dream. Uh, wow. Well... Glad to see you here, and also not glad. Because <laughs> I didn't want you to get evicted. It's going to be interesting now, being on the jury. Mm-hmm. Who do you think, based off of what happened this week, because obviously I wasn't there, what do you think is going to happen next week? Honestly, I have no clue. It It's anybody's game right now. Do you see any like stronger alliances developing or anything? Well, of course, I know of Mark and Jervy. I'm pretty sure Skylar could be on one with Emmett. Not 100% sure with that, though. Mm-hmm. I could see that. And Lulzy just seems to be doing his own thing. 
I am excited for this season to premiere. I'm ready to watch it already. I know, me too. I only missed one week and I'm already like, I want to be there and see it. <laughs> and I will say that I did vote to eliminate you, but that's just because I hadn't gotten close to you or anything. I didn't really know you. So I already knew, uh, even from what you told me, that you were voting for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, another thing that happened this week, uh, there, James and Richard, uh, there was a twist that uh, who it didn't matter wh whose team the HOH was on, they could name they could nominate whoever. Uh, oh, which is why Dream Lulzy had one HOH. Dream was up despite being on Lulzy's team. Yeah, Dream was mad about that. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be very interesting then. I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to hear that. <laughs> oh, coaches was trivia. Yes. They were dangling over lava, and if they guessed the wrong answer, they took a nice little swim. I'm sorry. Tucker won that? Yeah, Tucker was pure luck that he won that. We were all shocked. That's believable. Not brains, just luck. <laughs> gotcha. At one point, he decided he was going to use Sarah's answer and go side with her because they had to pick a or b mm -hmm. yes and then the hoh was i honestly don't remember that was last week <laughs> hoh was the burning house uh in which the house there was a wooden house that slowly got caught on fire um which lowly won by being the last one alive which came down pretty close between him and skylar as they were all just they were both on like a wool platform fighting for oh, their life. gosh, that seems like it was ages ago. I know. It's been five years, actually, since that comp. <laughs> wow, this afterlife really sucks. All right. Thank you guys for your time, and we'll see you next week when you get to meet a new person who exits the mausoleum. For now, thank you. Goodbye, James. Thank you so much for being an amazing participant and contestant of the season it was really nice trying to coach you and i'm sorry that things didn't really work out for you and i do want to say i feel a little bit guilty because i did have a slight input on if you're gonna go home or not which is quite unfortunate but personally even though i am a coach i still was gonna choose like who i wanted to win out of you two and i had to pick sense so super sorry about that but you're still an amazing person and you're really, really, really nice. And you are just like an overall amazing person. You're such a good sport about everything. And yeah, so I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye. James, you were a good player. I'm very shocked at uh, your, your ending speech. I thought you were better than that. I don't know why you have to be so rude. Uh, try to be friends with everybody and you just don't get to be friends with everybody, I guess. Oh, for the first time in this game, the vote that... I really didn't want to happen, it just happened. I wish you the best of luck. I'm sorry I couldn't do more than what I tried to do, so... Sorry, James, you were, like, really my number one in this game. Hi, James. I feel bad that you left, but you will be missed. That speech was a little bit harsh, but I hope that we can be friends outside of this game. You know, James, you, you, you were a pretty cool dude. I enjoyed you being here. I mean, I'm pretty sure you called me a... Uh, I can't say that, can I? I'm pretty sure you said a no-no poopy word to me. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, you, were, you were pretty cool for the time you were here. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. I will admit, I uh, didn't want to vote any of you lot off. I mean, the fact that I went with Ty is ridiculous. I don't know, like, I don't know. I, don't know. I, think, I think everyone, I think everyone stitched me up. Then stuff things will happen, but no, but seriously, um, I don't hate you. I really don't. As much as I know you're probably mad at me for voting you off, uh, out of you and Suds, I don't hate you. You know, it's, um, like I said before, it wasn't anything personal because if it was, you wouldn't have been up there. So, I don't know, man. <laughs>